Good morning, what is going on? I am Sam Crack. You guys literally killed the comment section last video. I couldn't get enough of all the different things. How about Bruce Wayne and the reason why he wants the seat cover? I mean, does it get any better than that? Now tell me, should I give that seat cover to Bruce Wayne? Or I mean, it feels like there's other people that have actual like cold climate needs that they need the uh, heated seat warmer. Anyway, guys, it is time. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. I'm very excited about this uh, very, let's call it, unique car that I bought. We gotta make room here. We gotta kinda clear things out. And we're getting ready because Rusky, Rusky is the hauler. He's the guy who is bringing this uh, well, it's a Chevy Spark, but it is the Domino's Pizza DXP car. Now, when the Domino's DXP car was first released by Domino's Pizza, there was a ton of press around, especially because it has a warming oven in the side door. But one of the big things that was said in a lot of these press interviews was that you can't get this car unless you're a Domino's licensed franchisee. Well, they were absolutely wrong because I got one showing up right now and I'm gonna own it. And that's big thanks to the guys over at Copart. Now, it's it's an amazing coincidence how everything kind of came together at the right time. We're gonna get deeper into the story later in this video, but basically right after I won the bid on this car and bought it, the guys over at Copart reached out to me and said, hey Sam Crack, we watch your videos, we kind of dig them, and we wanna partner with you. And I was, I was ecstatic because this is what I do videos on. This is the sort of stuff that I love. And I know you guys send me a ton of Copart links to my email, samcrackauto at gmail.com. Keep doing that, I love looking at every single one of them. But any Anyway, if you're watching, you likely know what Copart is. If you don't, link is in the description box below, copart.com. It's where I buy pretty much every single one of my project cars. But even if you're not into a salvage title or a damaged car, they got lots of clean title cars, they've got donated cars, they've got a lot of great stuff. And it's not just limited to a bunch of Toyota Camrys. They've got everything from Ferraris and McLarens to Domino's DXP cars, to tractors, to motorsports, to everything. I've seen someone buying a bicycle at Copart. So if you haven't already, definitely check them out. Find your next project car there. And please continue to send me the awesome cars you're finding on Copart's website because who knows, maybe I'll go and buy another one of them. Now let's go up there. I think Rusky is about two minutes away and let's find him. Let's go get that DXP car off the truck. Wow, that front end's got a little bit of a problem, don't you guys think? Wow, it's pretty battered. I'm gonna need a lot of those parts. I'm just gonna check the oil dipstick real quick, make sure nothing came out. There we go. There's oil in there. When you're going to start a car like this, even with all the stuff bashed in, you just wanna make sure that the belt the belt is down there. It's sideways on this car. A lot of times it's in the front is not being rubbed up against anything. Otherwise, when you go to turn it over, if it does move, you're gonna rip everything apart in there. But uh, it looks pretty good down there. Let's give it, let's, well, let's hook this thing up here. I'm gonna squeeze in here and do that and let's see, see if it starts up. There we go, it's gonna be good as new now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not gonna make you wait this time. Let's see here. Foot on the brake, and uh, let's see if we can start it. Nah. Not gonna start. Well, I'm gonna need more than uh, just the bumper. That's a uh, windshield washer reservoir. I'm pretty sure. All right, so this was kind of a fail. I think the GoPro caught it, but rolling down too steep of an incline. So he's gonna pull his truck forward a little bit. Let's see if we can get this from an angle. See, there it goes, there she goes. We're safe. It hit the front end a little bit. You can see the front end is already toast, so I don't really care. And Rusky's a good guy, so I'm out worried about it. Perfect, it came right off. So maybe you guys were wondering, when the heck is this crazy guy gonna do? Sure, he's got the Domino's DXP car, but the whole front end is missing. Well, if you look in the background there, I recently bought 
a flooded Chevy Spark. That's right, I'm gonna take the pieces off of that car, transfer it on to the DXP car and bring it back to its former glory. Well, I look at several Copart listings pretty much every single day. If it wasn't for you guys at home, I would have never found this specific Domino's DXP car. You see, I got an email from a viewer by the name of Alex. He sent in the link to this car. When I clicked it, I knew it would make for not only a great story, but a great video and a great project. Now when I visit Copart, see a car that I wanna bid on, I can kind of assess the damages and figure exactly a high number I'm comfortable with. This car is very strange. You see, new to Domino's Pizza franchise owners, they cost between 20 and $25,000. This car only had 2,000 miles on it, but it is pretty heavily modified. You see, they removed both the rear and the passenger seat to allow more room to accommodate a ton of pizzas. The rear door on the driver's side has been completely removed Moved and then modified to allow for entry to the warming oven. This was done by Roush, and yes, that's the same Roush that has been taping hood scoops onto Mustangs and selling them as special editions. They've even installed this really neat projector light right underneath the warming oven, so if you're delivering a pizza at night, it lights up the ground with the Domino's logo. So the question remains, what in the heck do you even bid on a car like this? There's less than 150 of them in the entire country, according to Domino's website. That makes it kind of rarer than a LaFerrari. It's heavily modified, so parts resellers really don't want it. You know, it's missing the door. It's missing some of the interior components. Uh, it's got different parts on it that nobody else is really going to want. And on top of it, it's been in a decent-sized accident. But if a Domino's franchise owner had heard about this car coming for sale on the auction block, they might chomp at the bit to try and get this car for a fraction of what it would cost them through their franchise license. I obviously completely overthought all of that quite a bit, so I put in a high bid of $3,000. So the beauty of Copart's bidding system is you can put in that $3,000 bid, but even though this car went to auction at $525 as its high pre-bid, it would only be bid up in increments of say 25 to 100 dollars meaning the next high bid wouldn't expose my three thousand dollar bid we can talk more about that later but essentially this car came up during the live auction and here's what happened <music> That's right, nobody even bid against me. I held the high pre-bid going into the auction and this car was a pure sale, which means that it's no reserve auction, the highest bidder wins. And I won it for $525. Shipping costs more than that. I paid $560 to ship this car from Indianapolis to me here in Florida. It's just mind blowing. One of the really interesting things about the DXP car is that when these cars have reached their maximum life expectancy of 100,000 miles, they're to be returned to Roush where they're going to take them apart, put back on all the stock parts, the seats, the door, and then they're just gonna sell them as used Chevy Sparks. Not this one. And now for the moment you and I have been waiting for, we are finally going to open up the Domino's DXP car warming oven door, you see, you can't just walk up to this car and lift this open. It's got a security feature, so nobody steals your za. But one press of this button, and what do you know? There's a pizza inside. Well, this is kind of, well, it's even warm in here. This is kind of strange and a nice surprise. I guess this pizza didn't make it to its final destination. Uh, yeah, so let's check it out. What do we got here? Actually looks, it looks kind of old, but uh, not not too bad. It looks like it's got spinach and red pepper on it. And either they got this warming oven completely figured out to the point where it keeps your pizza like totally awesome for a long time, or Domino's uses the best preservatives in the game. This pizza looks pretty darn good. Let's give it a try, shall we? Mm. Um, come here, come here. Well, Bessie here likes it, so uh, thumbs up, warming oven door. 
you're good, you're good. Thanks, thank you very much. That was your pay for being in my video. Now that concludes our short tour of the Domino's DXP delivery car. I've been trying to keep this car secret for the last couple weeks and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, the few people I have told have said, hey, are you worried about Domino's Pizza reaching out to you and wondering if maybe, you know, they don't want you driving this car or showing it on video? Well, I did a lot of research and I'm happy to report it's not against the law to impersonate a pizza delivery driver. Now, I wanna thank Alex for sending me in the link to this car. That's how I found it. And I wanna thank Copart, not only for sponsoring this video, but having really super unique finds like this, the Domino's DXP delivery car. Now, if you guys have any questions for me, as always, be sure to email me. Everything you need to do to contact me is in the description box below. Also, if you enjoyed the tour around this car and the idea of bringing it back to life be sure to hit that like button guys thanks a lot for watching you'll be seeing more of this very soon all right guys i had to go out in the warehouse i'm so excited i just won <laughs> the domino's pizza car for 525 dollars we're gonna have a ton of fun with this and hey there's a lot of stuff to actually learn with it because it's got a handful of things wrong like airbags and it's a front-end collision which is what most of these cars are anyway this is gonna be awesome, guys. I'm so excited.